Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Right now, we are at the 2022 gathering put on by PSA. So it's happening in South Carolina at the Clinton House Plantation. We're actually on the range right now, so that's the sounds of freedom that you hear uh, behind you. And we're here with Matt. And the reason why we're with Matt is because last year we did some stuff on the Jackal. And uh, people kept saying to me, where's the Jackal this year? So Matt, tell us what's going on with the Jackal. Where are we at right now? Yep, so uh, last year when we shot this gun, it was in its development stages. Um, we thought at that point that we were a little bit closer to production than we ended up being. Um, mm -hmm. We took that gun through an entire endurance test, sat down, you know, pulled the gun apart with several different teams, even people outside of the engineering team. And we, uh, we saw a lot of things that yeah, frankly, we didn't like. Um, we did not think it was ready to go into production yet. So we went back to the drawing board, um, mm -hmm. got a team on it, and we have done a full redesign of a lot of components in this Jackal to kind of correct some of the issues that we saw, and this is the product. All right, let's put a magazine in this thing. The Jackal. All right, Lola. Reload. So right now we're very close to production, right? I yep, think so right now, okay. right now with this gun, we are in our final phase of testing, um, mm -hmm. final phase of endurance testing. Uh, as soon as that is over, uh, granted, as long as we don't see anything we don't like, which I think we will, mm -hmm. um, I think this will be yeah, the one we go into production with. We've already run other guns through you know, the same endurance test that we're gonna run this gun through. We know the internal components are gonna last. Right. Um, just more of a formality, you know. We did change some things on the inside to cover okay. the very last issue we saw. Okay. So what can? Well, so what features are going to be here that we could point out to the folks out there, you know, real quick that are going to be on the gun? This is a full, uh, long stroke piston upper. Okay. It's got a fully captured buffer system, so everything is contained inside of that upper receiver that gives you the ability to put any kind of folding stock you want on the back of it. Right. Make it as small and compact as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, the gun also has an ambidextrous, non-reciprocating charging handle. Okay. You can put it on either side. It's a very easy switch. Mm -hmm. um, internally, we made a lot of changes from last year. We put internal steel rails, which you can see the bolting of on the side right here. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, made it a much more durable and a much more controlled carrier spring tube combo. So it's got a lot of control surfaces to mitigate any kind of movement as that carrier is going back and forth mm -hmm. during firing. Really. Uh, contains any kind of wear that you can see on the inside of the receiver. Okay. Um, also comes with a built-in adjustable gas block, toolless adjustable, so you can adjust it with your hands. Okay. Um, so when this comes out, are we getting a complete gun? Are we getting uppers, combination of that? Do you know? So from what I've been told, the first offerings are going to be complete guns. We're going okay. to go ahead and sell them with the lower. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to start doing kits also, where okay. you know we sell the piece that you throw it into the lower to actually make it jackal compatible and the upper by itself. Okay. Um, it is compatible with any mil spec lower. So okay. you just take this and thread a plug and the adapter that goes on the back and you can put it on any of your mil spec uppers or lowers that you have at home. Okay, cool. Is it, can we see inside or we still can't see inside right, so yet? No, all right. Oh, okay, we can? Cool, yeah. let's get a little look in there. Yeah. Another thing that we did to make mm -hmm. this gun a lot better it's a lot easier to take the recoil system out now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. So this is our long. That helps. This is our yeah. long stroke piston. Okay. Uh, it's kind of similar to what you'd see on an AK. All right. 
And then on the inside, you can see that we have a steel guide rail. Really, uh, okay. it helps with a lot of wear that we were seeing in the last gun, where all of our control surfaces were aluminum inside the gun. Okay. Do you know about how many rounds you guys have put through this one so far? This particular gun was actually made specifically for the gathering. Um, we made a fire at 300 rounds before we brought it here, and uh -huh. maybe another four or five hundred since we've been here. Right. Um, we have other jackals that we have brought, I think, past the 13,000 round mark, which usually we stop at 10,000 rounds, mm -hmm. but we're taking those a little bit higher just to make sure. Right. Um, and they're, they're living. I mean, they're doing great. Okay, so for all the folks who were able to come out to the gathering, you actually got a chance to shoot this, except for right now that we went and stole it <laughs> from the table and brought it out here. But we do want to get it back to the table so the people that are out here do get a chance to shoot it because you're letting everyone shoot it, right? Yes, sir. Whoever wants, wants to. Come. to. So we're going to reciprocating, so you can hold it right here if you want, it's fine. Use the standard AR 15 lower. You got to the rounds. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna upgrade my AR. Yep. That's uh. It's got the arm brace on it. I like this thing. Oh yeah. So how do you fold it? So how you fold it is you'll push up, push up on the brace just like that. Folds up. Nice. All right. We got five rounds. Okay. Charging handle is non-reciprocating. Okay. Understood. So um, do we know, is, is the price going to be roughly the same that you guys were projecting? Yep, so the price okay. shouldn't have changed from anything that was advertised. Okay. Um, really pricing is a different, whole different department, so I try not to speak too much on it. Okay. But uh, the cost of the gun has not gone up really much since we did okay. the whole redesign. We tried to keep the pricing the same so that, you know, we didn't yeah, come what out is, What is the price roughly going to be on this? Um. I'm not sure to be 100% okay. honest. Yeah, I don't think we ever like pinned it down, but I know people do want. But it's still, it's it's gonna be like a very affordable version of what you're. You know, there's some other things like this out there. It's yes, gonna sir. be a very affordable version of yep. si similar stuff that's out there. It's probably gonna be better. Priced. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. We'll keep with the whole PSA that's, motto. We'll yeah. make an affordable rifle right. for anybody to be able to buy and enjoy. Absolutely. That's what I can do for you guys. There you go. So yes, I shot it. There are folks here shooting it. We're very close for everyone who wants to know who's anxiously waiting. Here we go. Okay. So if people want to find out more about this, right, in the meantime, before it actually like get start getting sold, where can they go for that? So we can go to the PSA Handgun Gunners Group. We you know, release a little bit of information on there. Right. We That's also, on Facebook. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. We can also go to the PSA forum online. Uh, we'll have certain threads kind of tracking progress yeah. on it. You right. can ask any kind of question. We'll do our best to answer them. Okay, that's on ARFCOM, AR-15? Yes, sir. For, okay, so PSA Owners Forum on ARFCOM. Okay, and uh, the Facebook group. There you go. That's the best place to find out info. If I find out anything, I'll let you guys know. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay, now you have to go back and let more people shoot the gun. We'll probably roll in some footage of that. We'll go back up there with you. Absolutely. All right, thanks a lot. So there you go, guys. That is the Jackal from PSA at the Gathering 2022. We're out of here. We'll see you guys on more videos. Peace. Make sure to check out handstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.